So we record a record, a full record, um, a very limited time, and it felt very rushed. And we did it, though, and uh, we took a step back and then realized we aren't proud of this. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, can't yeah. put our name on this. And that was kind of what most of 2018 was uh, yeah. for us, was separating from our label and then uh, fighting to keep the songs. Yeah, they didn't want to put out our songs, but they didn't want to give them back. 2017 and a lot of 2018, it was a lot of just us like having to take a step back and like kind of readjust and uh, refocus and yeah. just yeah. uh, get back in touch with like what it was, I think that made us do our best work in the beginning yeah. anyway. And uh, I do feel like that kind of happened fairly quickly yeah. once we kind of made some big changes. Yeah. Kind of just putting the last two years behind us in a yeah. way, like, I just started writing songs that felt easy and just felt great and just felt like how it used to feel writing. What really helped us kind of like be ready to just start putting out music and going for it was also when we, we did the two shows. It had been so long without playing any shows or seeing our fan base. We'd been in a bubble for so long with just ourselves that, um, you know, booking those two shows, we didn't really know what was going to happen and how people would respond. And I think we were all you know, pretty blown away by yeah. um, just the, the response we got from everybody and yeah. to feel like we were welcomed back, you know, because, yeah. you know, when you go through a, like a few years of self-doubt and then you end up in a place where you're like, all right, well, nobody's going to care when we yeah. come back, you know, at Absolutely. all. So to have that yeah. thought that totally shattered too, yeah. um, was incredible. Well, Brendan shared this dream song in Alex's attic in Alameda, and it came together very quickly. Dream song was kind of always one of the tracks that just felt good. And it was like, you know, when there were like upwards of like 40 songs at a time, like it was just, it felt good knowing that like we at least had one that we were confident would see the finish line one way or another. I had the voice memo actually of our first time mm -hmm. uh, we played through it. Okay. Wow. This is more for us. Yeah, that's yeah. Really, actually. We're very it's proud of this, very excited, and so excited to share it with you guys mm -hmm. and finally bring you something that we love and hopefully you love as well. And then keep doing and it. And keep doing it. We got more yeah, music more. coming out, we got more things to announce. Life is going on for Finished Ticket. Fucking sick, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs>